begin this morning with President Moon Jae-in's remarks on Korea's National Liberation Day. Attending a ceremony in Seoul on Tuesday to mark the occasion, President Moon hardened his stance regarding the latest flare-up of tensions on the Korean peninsula. He said there will be no military action on the peninsula without Seoul's consent and that his government will prevent a war by all means. Our Blue House correspondent Hwang Ho Joon has our top story. President Moon Jae-in attended the ceremony celebrating the 72nd anniversary of Korea's liberation from Japanese colonial rule, along with 3,000 attendees, including government, political and religious leaders, but most importantly, the surviving heroes who fought for Korea's independence, who were recognized for their sacrifices. The ceremony started with the singing of the national anthem, first sung to the tune of the Scottish folk song Old Lang Syne, as it was originally sung when it was first adopted as Korea's anthem by the provisional Korean government. President Moon then delivered a speech where he once again thanked the independence fighters, stressing that Korea will never forget their sacrifices. He also emphasized that the country will pay due respect to its heroes. Referring to the escalating tensions in recent days sparked by the aggressive rhetoric between North Korea and the United States, President Moon stressed the government's firm principle to protect the national interests of South Korea and no war should occur on the Korean peninsula ever again. He urged North Korea to immediately stop its provocations and asserted that he does not want to replace or make the regime collapse, nor does he plan to accelerate the reunification of the two Koreas artificially. President Moon also mentioned the sensitive relationship between South Korea and Japan and urged the two countries to aim for a future-oriented relationship, but that can only start when the Japanese government changes its attitude toward historical facts. 그러나 우리가 한일 관계의 미래를 중시한다고 해서 역사 문제를 듣고 넘어갈 수는 없습니다. 오히려 역사 문제를 제대로 매듭 지을 때 양국 간의 신뢰가 더욱 깊어질 것입니다. Emphasizing the past 100 years since the foundation of modern Korea, referring to the establishment of the Provisional Government of Korea in Shanghai in 1919, President Moon also encouraged Koreans to prepare for the next century to come, transcending conservative, liberal or factional political views. Hwa Ho Jun, Arirang News.